Hey friends, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. It is the Trans Monster and I am giving you a laundromat speed build today in The Sims 4. I really wish that this was a lot type that just generally came with the game because I would really use the hell out of it. When I play on my own, I tend to be a realistic kind of game player. So I usually do that family storyline. But I always throw some drama in there because it is The Sims 4 and it's supposed to be fun. So sometimes my Sims do get wild. But uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, it was really hard to get this build to fit in where it's located because I actually put it in the, I guess, starter home neighborhood of Willow Creek. Uh, it's the one closest to the town down on the bottom right. And it's got a lot of shotgun style homes. Um, at least that's what I'm going to be replacing all the lots in this area with. And I originally built a totally different styled laundromat prior that got bulldozed in the same location because it really, I tried to make it look too much like a house and it didn't feel right for what I was going for. And this has a little bit more of a commercial feel to it, but it still fits in with the area with the kind of siding that it has and everything, and it's not too big and flashy. Uh, the stairs were probably the hardest part of this build for me because I really didn't want them to be down the middle and I also didn't want to have a full upper floor, but it felt weird to only have like half of it open or a weird L shape open. So I tried to do everything I could to not put them in the center and that's where they ended up anyways. But I actually like how it turned out. I really wish I could get some posts in there, but something I noticed while I tried to do that was that when you stack posts like that, they don't line up, which drives me mental. And I can't fathom why The Sims has to have so many of those features that just feel so easily fixable and don't make sense, but it is what it is. I guess it's part of the charm of the game. So instead of those pillars, I ended up doing some over underneath where the upper level wall was because realistically that wall would have some support and one wall on either side didn't feel like it closed in the area too much because I wanted to fit in. I mean, I've only been to laundromats a couple times in my life, but I wanted to fit in a decent amount of machines. But also there's always like a big table that you can kind of fold your clothes at. It's higher up, so it's easier on the back. But then they also have chairs to sit at. So I found that the university tables were really good for that. You'll see when I end up putting them in. And then I wanted to get some color going in here, but not too much that it was really crazy looking because to me laundromats should be simple and right now I am setting aside a whole bunch of clutter from the catalog that I think might go in here. I don't think I used all of it and I do end up adding more but there are one or two items that I don't end up using and they just get deleted at the end. I wanted it to look like people were here actually doing their laundry. So it is a little bit cluttered. Someone's folding their towels and their clothes over on this table. On the other side, it ends up getting a little messy in that corner. Like maybe there's a mom with some kids there doing their laundry and then I actually managed to squeeze in a little play mat at the end which I'm trying to make all of the community lots very inclusive but um, I feel like none of the lots are set up to have toddlers or infants on them 
there's nowhere for them to even go to the bathroom or have their diaper changed. So I'm, I'm really trying to focus on making all lots functional for toddlers and infants. Residential ones, I, I'm going to not do them all for that because there aren't toddlers and infants living in everyone's house. But yeah, at least for those community lots. The Sims 4 is lacking so much sometimes, but I also understand it is partly due to a user-friendly issue. Not everyone has computers that can even run being expansion packs. So, I mean, their their builds have to be pretty minimal with with their decor and everything so maybe if the sims team had more flexibility in that sense it wouldn't be so bad i did end up going on the gallery again i am actually using the same artwork from the first video i posted on my channel i found this user during that recording that i did and uh, since then i've been lurking their entire gallery and they have so many good artworks for so many different builds that you can do and I think they're going to probably pop up a lot. Something I do end up noticing at the end of my build is that I don't paint that back foundation um, but I do promise that the gallery version is going to have platform paint on it. So despite my uh, little oopsie there, it, it does get fixed. And yeah, I'm just putting some finishing touches on it. I like that this place has a nice seating area out the back. It felt fitting because um, it's such a lovely view there that, uh, you know, why not? And then I put some stuff for your Sims to do in here. There's books, there's some laptops even. So if you do move your Sim into a starter home in this neighborhood, you will be able to just pop on over to the laundromat. You don't even have to bring your Sims laundry. Um, if you want to use this and not have laundry machines in your Sims home, all you would have to do is throw in a hamper and you are all set. It'll collect your Sims clothes and then you can just put them in your Sims inventory and head on over. I really hope you've enjoyed watching me build this laundromat here in Willow Creek. We are nearing the end of the build as I'm just putting in some final touches. I just really think that this is going to add a nice touch even if you're not the kind of player that would bring your sims to the laundromat. Ultimately what I'm doing here is creating a save file and then once that's complete we'll move on to something else. But like I was saying, if you don't use the laundromat in your game, I think it still adds a nice touch aesthetically to the world. I like realism in my game, even though I do not always follow realistic gameplay. It's how I prefer to play, so it's also my preferred build style. With that being said, this is the end of the build. Thank you so much for hanging around this long. I can't wait to put another video out there for you soon and enjoy some screenshots. Bye.